Hi, this is Tim Talks About Everything, and today I'm going to talk about rock hounding with a razor blade. Now, my grandpa, who lived in Wisconsin, was really good with dynamite. That was sort of the thing. That was back in the days when you could buy dynamite out the back door of the hardware store. And it was known around Richland Center, Wisconsin, that if you wanted somebody to dynamite a rock outcropping or some ledge or something off of your property, you got a hold of my grandpa. He was that good. Me, uh, you know, I'm not so much into dynamite. Well, I'm not into dynamite at all. Uh, my style is more like a razor blade. I'm, I'm the dabbler. I'm the, the minimalist. So, yeah, when I found out that there was a you dig place out in Florissant, Colorado, I was right there with my razor blade to do some rock hounding. Let me give you the story. So we had some friends that had a place, a little cabin out by the Pike National Forest, and they said, hey, anytime you want to use that, go ahead and use it. And so we took them up on it. And that's when I got on the internet and found out that Florissant, Colorado is an amazing place to hunt for fossils. Volcanic action, many years ago, ash spread out over an area where insects and leaves and all kinds of little vegetation, organic material is floating around or flying around and the ash would sandwich it and one layer after another layer after another layer. And basically what happened then is that got fossilized. And now when you go to this you dig place, you're able to take a razor blade and just carefully peel off layer after layer until you find something really cool, like a nice leaf or an insect. And insect fossils aren't really all that common. So. 10 bucks to use this. Now, I think the price has gone up to $15. $15 for an hour. They have the tools that you need. And it's a lot of fun. Now, basically what they do is they come in with like an inloader or something like that. And they dig up some rock. And then they've got it in a pile. And you sort through the pile. And you pick out a few pieces that you want to look at. And you sit down at the picnic table. And you take your razor blade and you slice and slice. And, you know, the good thing about being at a place like that the lady that was running it, at least on the day that I went, was very good at identifying things. And in fact, she spotted these tiny insects that look sort of like a mosquito on the rocks that I was ready to discard. And she said, hold on a second there. I, I think I see a wing. And so sure enough, now you have to kind of, well, like what I did, I, I took my fossils to work and put them on on the copy machine and blew them up so that I can actually see really good what they are. Uh, and I think that's kind of what they did with this book too. So uh, $10 and I think it's $15 today, but $15 an hour, you go and you do all the digging that you want to do or razor blading with all, all that you want to do. And uh, I also went the extra mile and bought this book. Now it wasn't cheap. It was, $40. And uh, you see this B on the front here? Now, when I saw that, and there's a museum there, uh, but when I saw this, I thought, wow, they had bugs that big back then? No, they didn't. Uh, what they did was they blew it up just like I did with my fossils. This is an excellent book. It's got a lot of scientific information in there, a lot of pictures. You can identify perhaps some of your finds. This is the kind of stuff that you know, you, if you're really lucky, you might find. I, I didn't find anything that spectacular, but I did find some things that I thought were really cool. Now, I've read some of the reviews of this You Dig place in Florissant, and, you know, some people didn't have as great of an experience as what I did, but I figure 10 bucks, I paid 10 bucks. I got to find some amazing fossils, at least for my caliber of rock hounding and got the book, can learn what was going on back then, which is really a lot of what I'm really after is just the learning aspect of it. And so I thought it was a great experience. Now it may have something to do with who's actually running it on the day that you go. So you might want to call ahead of time and find out for sure. But um, rock counting with a razor blade, 
I'm going to go ahead and try to show you. Now, it's been years, and, and my rocks are in these little display cases, but I'm going to try to peel away a couple of layers, maybe sacrifice a little bit of one of my fossils to show you how this actually worked when you go out there to Florissant, Colorado. What you'll find a lot of is these little leaves. I found quite a few of these. They are in my opinion, a lot like leaves that we have today. These look a lot like the willow leaves that I have in my backyard. And uh, there's several of them here. This little leaf here is pretty cool. One of the first ones I've found. And then that is the wing of an insect. You've got the positive and the negative when you take the razor blade and you split this open. So that's pretty cool. And I think that these little dark spots, they're probably seed pods. And the best thing, I mean, I love this little leaf. It's one of my favorite things. But this here is an insect. It's complete, the wings, the whole, the whole body. And, uh, this is what it looks like enlarged. I think this is a stem with a seed pod. Next, I'll show you again, I've got another insect here. And I thought that one was pretty cool. And again, it's complete. The wings are there. They're all spread out. The legs are all there. Everything is there. But, of course, it is quite small. Until you blow it up on the copier. See, there it is right there. A tiny little thing. Some kind of a, probably a blood-sucking kind of insect of some kind. And you can see these little layers. I mean, they're so thin. You just have to be very careful. It's very fragile. I probably didn't do the best job of pre preserving these. I think I used a diluted mixture of Elmer's glue and water. But you see there are many other little seed pods and stems. And, and there's another leaf. Here's another one. And again, you see the, the little seed pods, little bits of leaf. This has a lot of interesting structure to it. And this is a type of leaf that was pretty common back in the day. This might have been the thing I got the most excited about, although I love the insects because they aren't that common. But these are some pretty good sized leaves. And as you can see, it's mirror images here. And this is a little, little wing off some kind of flying insect. So what you do is you take the razor blade, just uh, any kind of razor blade that you might have. <laughs> this one looks a little rusty. So if I could do a little bit of a reenactment of what happened when I was out there in Florissant, you just take your razor blade and you, sorry for being so shaky, um, you put that in there, and I mean, these things split apart very easy. And at least for me, I'm super excited when I pull apart something like this and see this leaf that has been wedged in there or compressed in there for all those many, many years. That's exciting to me. And 10 bucks and a little bit of time. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. I'm, I'm happy to be doing something like that. So, uh, now in the, just 
just to be realistic now, there are times when you are going to split something open and there's not going to be anything there. It's going to be a disappointment. I'll show you that too. But at the end of the day, if you can walk away with a few cool fossils, then I say you got your money's worth and it's just a lot of fun and it's an educational experience. I know they always say, well, this is good for the kids. Well, it's good for adults too. <laughs> so uh, it's the joy of learning. It's <laughs> really hoping for something cool, and there was nothing. But that's kind of how it goes. All right, that was Rock County with a razor blade. So it's just a kind of a neat idea and some pretty cool fossils. So if that intrigues you or interests you, maybe you can check it out further. Uh, the book, though, is excellent. Whether you go to Florissant or not, the book is excellent. And you're going you're gonna to see some things and find some things in the book that will fascinate you. So this is Tim Talks About Everything. God bless. Have a great day. Do some rock hounding. See you next time.